flash modding. This is the first time I've ever flash modded an iPod. As you can tell by the the iPad, this is kind of a, a knockoff. This is definitely not a, dank, a knockoff Dankpods video. Not American in any way. Oh, oh, my Duracell. All right, I kind of clickbaited you guys a little bit with the green iPod. We're actually modding this one, mainly because this one is actually in the worst condition, and I didn't want to mess up a, a good one. This one's battery actually is holding charge, I think. It'll actually still boot up. Hello? Oh, there we go. Yeah, the hard drive is dead in this one, because when it loads up, here, you'll see it in a second. Yep, we got the good old dead hard drive thing going on here. I'm gonna mod that one later. For now, we're going to be doing this one. So, really, what you have to do is there's a plastic thing on top. Here, I can just compare these with, you, with these. Ugh. So, you put the button in the hold position, and then you can basically pry plastic top off of here. Be careful with it, because, you know, there's internals and stuff. So, I pretty much used this thing. You can get these in, like, cheap, fake iFixit kit. Pretty much does the same thing as an actual iFixit kit. The bottom is the same story there's two screws in the top once you get the top off also when the bottom is off there's a retaining clip they just have to pop out it kind of sits in there like that and you pop it out and you get access to the inside of the bottom where you can unplug this this is just the clicker wheel whatever you want to call it plug just be careful of that too i use this as well to pry it open it could snap so be careful with that anyway once you've done all that you got the screws out you got both the sides out you can pretty much just push the entire thing out the whole thing just slides out of there. I took everything out of it already. On the inside would have this hard drive here. It's kind of like taped in there, I guess. Here's the battery. So the battery would kind of sit like that. So let's continue with this and get out of business. All right, so here's all the stuff you really need for a flash mod. So you're gonna need a SIM adapter. I'll put all of the links to these parts in the description. They are all Amazon links. You got the CF adapter and you can put a micro SD with a micro SD adapter on it. This is the SD card that I bought for it. It's 32 gig, I know it's not that big. I really don't have that much music. And it comes with the adapter, which we're gonna need to put into here. I bought two of them, so if I wanna eventually do this one i can and i don't have to buy another sd card because i actually do have a bunch of these adapters laying around and then here's the battery so that's the three things you need sd card sd card adapter and battery all right so the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna unbox everything just get everything open i'll see you when i'm done doing that okay i got the sd card out and i got all the parts we need so we got the sd card the sd card adapter and the battery. Now we're going to take the SD card with the SD card mini SD card in it. We're going to slide it into the adapter. Another thing you should note when you're putting these together, there's a metal side. As you can see, this is the metal side of the adapter. That should always be facing down towards the main board when you're installing it. Because if it's faced up like this, it's not going to read it right. So if it's put like that and plugged in. All right, with the SD card secured, we're going to go ahead and install it into the iPod main board. And all that we have to do, slide this connector into all of the pins, just like this. I do it carefully because I don't want to break the ribbon cable. With that out of the way, let's get the battery in. So the battery connects right there. Battery is in. And we're going to slide it back into the case. We're gonna take the case. I think it'd be smart if we do this upside down so that this stuff doesn't fall out. So we're gonna take the case and just kind of drop it, not drop it, but slide it in. It might be a little tight with a thicker battery. We got it back together. So we're gonna get this ribbon cable plugged back in and that is for our clicker wheel. Okay, it's in. Now I think we can just plug it in and test it. And my cable is not long enough, so we're just gonna have to do it this way. Okay, that's a good, that's, that's a really, okay, it's working. That was a really good, it just formatted itself. All right. Okay, it just restored and it's now rebooting. Show you guys how to put this thing back together. Yep, there it goes. Um, please don't boot loop on me. That would be kind of terrible. Oops. Hey, it's back. I don't know why the backlight's not working. Hey, there we go. This thing was actually like dead a little bit ago. Like it wouldn't even turn on, it would just, be stuck on the battery screen. I'm gonna show you guys how to put this thing all the way back together. Let's see what this, if the storage went through. Yep, there it is. All right, so the first thing to do to get this thing back together is we're gonna turn it off, just so we don't short anything out if that's a thing. But we're gonna grab the retaining bracket, sit it down inside. Yeah, there's little slots in there where it goes in. You can see those. There we go, yeah, I just had it in there wrong. <laughs> All right, it should pop right in there now. Okay, if it's not gonna fall down. All right, so what I'm gonna do is actually take a screwdriver and bend the pin towards the center of it. This, push it down. There we go. So you're gonna take those little holes right there and push it towards the middle of the casing right here. 
push. You can also do that to get it apart by pushing it towards the middle and popping it out. Be careful not to, you know, puncture anything on the inside. All right, the retaining bracket is in. And now let's get the screws back on the top. These are PH triple zero. Now we're gonna grab the plastic pieces. And it might be smart to get some glue to hold them in place. But for now, I'm just gonna place them back in. So obviously we have our hold switch that is in the off position. And we just push it back in. You might have to like press it against the table like I'm doing to get it back in. Yep, there we go. Fresh new iPod. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I'll see you all next time. What are you doing? Oh, we're releasing the hellhounds here, guys. Just, he's just standing there, or sitting there, menacingly. <laughs>